This is the Razer Death Adder X Hyperspeed. It's cut out here, but show you the sides. Test some of the ratings or whatever. Who the fuck is this? Is this Courage JD? Oh my god, it's Courage JD. Man, you, <laughs> you should not be taking advice from this streamer. He is not good. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's the back of it. Alright, let's unbox it. So Razer always has this nice little pull tab here. Hold on, stick onto the box. I don't care. Alright, comes out like this. Okay, oh, it comes with a battery and. Come here is a mouse. It's already it's sticker. Okay. And it all looks in the hand. So big mouse buttons on the side. Huge. And then oh and this is where you pop it out and the battery. So and there's the wireless receiver. It's pretty cool. Put it back on. Okay. And then there's the on and off button and Bluetooth. All that good stuff. Let's do a sound test. So how it sounds. So wait, let me just show you. This is how. This is the. Okay, kind of lightweight, but it is without the battery, of course. So let's get it installed. Pop this off. Alexa, turn off the AC. Okay, I guess I pop this out. It's the battery that came installed. So, okay. this, just pop it back on. I got this mouse because I wanted a mouse. I got this mouse because I wanted a mouse I could use for, uh, like I said, like homework and like office work and stuff. Like, cause I have a, I have, of course, the Viper Ultimate, v, uh, V2 Pro, I mean, V2 Pro. And this is, I'm a Razer fanboy. So of course I got two mouses from them. So this will be mainly for like office work. So this was, around fifty dollars and this was I want to say a hundred dollars because it was on sale a hundred dollars and fifty dollars the weight of course the Viper the Viper V2 Pro is lighter because it's designed to be lighter you can like internally you can feel lighter and this is of course gonna be heavier because it has a battery inside and everything so mouse feet rise See the shape wise. So, the table size comparison. So, alright, I just want to make this quick review of the Def Adder. Def Adder V2 X Hyperspeed. It's like a broke version of the Def Adder V2. Of course, that is the battery inside and everything. So, what I dislike about this mouse is that it's not really that it's a bad mouse. Like, if you're a palm grip user, let's say, look, you hold your you hold your mouse like this, right? Hold your mouse like this. This is palm grip. Claw grip. It's basically the same thing, except it's like this. You're still resting 
your palm, your palm, whatever, on the mouse. But finger grip, I have this this type of style. And it looks kind of weird because this is such a large mouse, but it looks better on the Viper. See, I have this this type grip. My my palm is barely resting on the mouse except sub, and and as you can see from just side view of it, it's not resting at all on it. So I like I like especially using this for micro movements like in games and stuff and everything. I have not tested this out for gaming at all. I might, but I want to say it's really worth it because I know I'm not gonna be good as a mouse because. Uh, you can't finger grip this as easily as a Viper because this is, of course, lighter and smaller. And of course, it's fatter and fatter, bigger and heavier. So, of course, this is mainly for palm users and stuff. So, that's the only reason why I don't like it. So, it's not the mouse's fault. It's my fault for being a finger grip user. So, I'll say that if you want to get this mouse for if you're a palm grip or even claw grip, yeah, go get it because it's great for ergonomics. There's a reason why this mouse shape is like used for everything and stuff. So I have it connected to my back of my PC using 2.4, the hyper pulling shit. It's way better than the, than the Bluetooth mode. Wait, let me show you Bluetooth mode in a second. So you just so you just select it in the back here. So 2.4 off and Bluetooth. So Bluetooth mode now. I gotta connect, but you can already see it's really jittery and overall not consistent at all because of course this is on a 240 hertz monitor. If you probably have a small, uh, smaller hertz monitor, it'll be like better for your, for your experience. But since this monitor is too fast for Bluetooth, essentially since the max polling rate of Bluetooth is 125 hertz. So of course it's gonna be not as consistent as let's say I'm using the Viber right now. So already you can just tell it's way, cause way more consistent and just overall you want to use this for games because two point two point four hertz with the dongle, of course is the max is a thousand even more than that. Basically if you get a hyper pulling shit, of course it's way more consistent and stuff. And of course I match the monitor speed and stuff. So. Uh, so the downside of Bluetooth is that it's not the mouse's fault that Bluetooth that it sucks on Bluetooth is Bluetooth's fault is it is it inherently is it, the mouse can't do anything about that because Bluetooth just sucks on higher refresh monitor rates and just Bluetooth in general just sucks for sometimes like mice and stuff so I have you just suggest only using the two point hertz mode because if you're having a, like a high refresher monitor, then that's your like your only solution. Uh, about that, this is a great mouse for palm grip users. It's just not for me. I'm gonna get the Razer Orichi instead. I remember I got it like last year before and I didn't like it, but now I'm thinking about getting it again because it is for fingertip grip users and stuff. So yeah, that's about it.